What is up, Troubler Nation? I'm your host, Killer Keemstar. Let's get into the news. Jake Paul and FaZe Banks got into an epic fight and it was all captured on film. Here's the clip from Hollywood Fix. Okay, somebody's got some explaining to do. What's good? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's good? Let's run it. You have too much money. Square up! Wait, 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 what's, what's going on here? Let's go! This is the moment, bro. Three, you guys three. Three. What the? Wait, what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what the hell? One more. No. Oh. Last one! Wait, what? Yeah! Oh. That's, that's yeah. totally yeah. not what I expected. Oh. Oh. What? I, what? No! 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 How has this happened? Why are these two getting along like this? I mean, Banks, do you remember when Jake Paul accused you of assault and tried to ruin your life? Remember that? Anyone? What about when Jake Paul emotionally abused your girlfriend? I do not like this. I do not, I'm not happy. But that's not it. It gets even deeper because the Nelk boys posted this on the gram. Roll it. What in the f banks? <laughs> I'm a loss for words. I'm a loss for words. Now, obviously, I reached out to Ricky immediately asking him, WTF? And apparently the two of them are doing a collaboration and, you know, FaZe Banks is uploading a video tomorrow. Jake Paul's going to be in it and... Uh, you know, is, is this, uh, I, I just, obviously views, clickbait, whatever. I just, I just, is it worth it? Is it, is it worth it? I'm not happy with it. I don't like it. I know a lot of other people are not happy with it and don't like it, but, um, life's too short. Uh, let's all get along, you know, living in a time of peace. I just. I don't want it. Also in the news, a YouTuber is going to jail for 10 years. We're talking about Austin Jones. YouTube star gets 10 years in prison for pursuing underage girls. That's right, we reported on the story a couple years ago. He's a creep, whatever. He's taken 10 years. But the main thing I took away from this is the same thing could have happened to Romeo Lacrosse. But it seems like nothing's happened to Romeo. In fact, Romeo's just posted on Instagram like not a damn thing has changed. A couple days ago, he posted that he gave Kodak Black a new tattoo. Unbelievable. Also in the news, Trisha Paytas is under fire. Trisha tweeted out, who knew a wig could be so controversial? Everyone needs to relax. There wasn't a sign on this wig that said Caucasians weren't allowed to buy it. Showing that she's rocking a wig with, uh, braids. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really understand or get this one. I mean, obviously black people have the best braids, the best design. I mean, what they do with their hair is art, right? But when people start saying, oh, you're not allowed to braid your hair because you're not a certain race, um, that's racist. <laughs> so I, I don't understand the beef. But speaking about things I don't understand, wait till you see this scammer. A video was uploaded by name brand titled, I need your help. Now notice how there's like supreme stuff and really expensive stuff all around. But in this video, the guy acts like he is so poor. Roll it. I know what I'm missing. It's financial freedom. Once I get financial freedom, maybe people re will respect me. Maybe I'll be able to live out my wildest dreams and I'll be able to forget all the bullying that once happened in my life and how much people despise me and still do sometimes. <laughs> yeah, guys, give him money so he can forget about being bullied as a kid. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Like towards the end of the video, he asks his fans to go buy stuff from his website and he claims that on the website everything is free but what he doesn't tell you it's 18 dollars for shipping and handling roll it so he made a website 
And that website link is down below and I told him I'd help him out with this because that little boy is actually me. And the website name is namebrandfam.com. There's a link down below and also in the comment section if you guys want free phone cases. Jewelry like this, chains, a lot of it's free and a lot of it's not. But it's a really good website and I really hope you appreciate it. And honestly, I just want you guys to know that I might not be happy in life like I want to unless you guys really support me at this time like I really need you to. And if you do that, maybe I will be the next Dan Bilzerian. Maybe I will be the next Mia Khalifa on a yacht with many girls. And maybe I'll invite you guys once I get more money for these dreams that I have. Because I, as a young boy, thought if I was ever successful, I will take everyone with me and surf the seven seas with my friends, my pirates, and my cohorts. Cohorts? I don't know what that means. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this announcement. Uh, do Jimmy Boy a favor and make his dreams finally come true by clicking that link and maybe purchasing something. Unbelievable, absolutely disgusting, and speaking about things that are disgusting. Nope, not yet. We're, we're, we're saving this one to the end. Uh, Evan, my boy, Dorf Mamba, had this horrible thing happen to him, and he ranted on Twitter. He said this. I got called a kid last night again by a woman. Just want to clarify that it was also at a bar at 12 a.m. A bar! Please explain to me why there would be a kid at a bar! I just want everyone to know that everyone is different! And there are us people who have a form of disability called dwarfism. So, to that woman and many others who have called me a kid at a bar read an effing book once in a while or maybe educate yourself on all the different types of people that live on this planet well said evan very very well said i love that guy great kid right there evan <laughs> oh sh also in the news t-series is talking smack about PewDiePie. A new article and interview with T-Series came out. T-Series chief says PewDiePie asked for a YouTube fight and got it. The article goes on to say this. They asked, what does being the number one channel on YouTube mean to you? Does it help business? T-Series responded by saying, we were never in a tussle about becoming number one or two with anyone, but all along there were these sarcastic comments from PewDiePie. And that's how we decided to respond to the comments. I launched the hashtag Barad wins YouTube campaign, seeking more subscriptions from Indians. For us, this status does not result in any change on a commercial front. However, it changes the perception of who we are. Blah, 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 blah. Now, listen, I would have reached out to PewDiePie for a statement in response to this, but six days ago, PewDiePie uploaded this video titled, Ending Subscribe to PewDiePie Me. And in this video, he basically said this fight with T-Series was all for fun, cracking jokes, and then, you know, some people started being very, very hateful, and he didn't want hate to win, so he's just not uh, involved in the subscribe to PewDiePie war with T-Series anymore. So uh, I didn't reach out to him for comment. However, I wanted to put another big YouTuber in my title, so I reached out to Ninja for comment, and this is what Ninja had to say. Only issue with that, Chief, is that PewDiePie created content to mess around and have fun. T-Series took full legal action. Laughing out loud. <laughs> you got arrested by Ninja. You got arrested by Ninja. Got him. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our final story. I told you that a YouTuber known as Prank Invasion got 5 million views for making out with his sister, okay? But he has topped it. Now he has gone the extra mile because today, today, okay, today, he uploaded a brand new video titled Kissing My Actual Mom Prank. Yep, he made out with his mom. Roll it. All right, here we go. I was like trying to stop this. Here we go. Oh, oh. my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Guys, that's the end of today's video. 
If you want to keep up to date with all the news going on in the community, make sure you take the time to subscribe with notifications on because as soon as I get the scoop, I'm going to keep you. I don't feel so good. I don't feel so good. Guys, also, today's like the last day or the second to last day to save 40% on G Fuel when you use code KEEP. Make sure you do that. And um, I, I don't know what to say. If you enjoyed this video, slap a like on it. Drum Alert Nation is now over 4,900,000 subscribers i puked in my mouth i hate you prank invasion i